What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing an adaptability Crawdon team for Regulation 8. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Crawdon is one of those Pokemon that can actually hit really really hard it has adaptability as its ability and if you guys do not know what that does it actually doubles stab damage moves so instead of them getting the 1.5 times multiplier they now get a times two damage multiplier so all of our water and dark moves which we are rocking out with all four of them are going to do a crazy amount of damage paired up with the choice band that's what crawdon is using for its item this thing is just hitting like a truck and when i say a truck i mean a truck with like 55 trucks on top of it so yeah, Crawdon's going to be fun. We got Trick and Squad with it. Hopefully get the rack out with it. Grab you guys some wins. But first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is going to be Ursaluna, a perfect Pokemon for a Trick Room team with Mind's Eye and a Throat Spray as its item. It's got Earth Power, it's got Blood Moon, Hyper Voice, and Protect. Versalia is going to be in our second slot, a perfect Trick Room setter for this team with Levitate and the Mental Herb, Rocket Ice Beam, Lunar Blessing, Ally Switch, and Trick Room. We got Rillaboom in our third slot, and Rillaboom is a great Pokemon in or out of Trick Room. It's got Grassy Glide for first turn priority, U-Turn, Knock Off, and Fake Out, alongside with that Assault Vest as its item. In our fourth slot, we got Armour, a great Pokemon to set the Trick Room or just to do some big time special attacking damage. It's got Flash Fire with the Cobra Cloak as its item, then it's rocking Heat Wave, Psy Shock, Trick Room, and Wide Guard to protect the alley Pokemon from double hitting moves. In our fifth slot, we got Vickful. Vickful, great special attacker, especially within the Trick Room. This one has Levitate, alongside with the choice specs to make it do as much damage as it possibly can. It also has Bug Buzz, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, and Flash Cannon. In our final slot, we got the one and only Crawdon. We already kind of talked about it, but let's go over its moves. It's got Aqua Jet, alongside with Liquidation, and then Knock Off and Lash Out. Like I said, all stat moves, so we're getting that adaptability times two boost on whatever move we want. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that regulation E rank ladder. Let's grab some wins with Crawdon. First match on its way. We're going up against a Hisuian Typhlosion Sun team with Tornadus, who's probably rocking Sunny Day. Then they also have Torkoal and then Urshfu, Landorus, and Shen Pao. So this team looks like they're gonna bring Torkoal, considering we are probably gonna be popping Trick Room. So how should I go into this one? Who should I play? I feel as the Flash Fire Armouche could be really solid, especially if they're gonna set the sun. We can kind of just drop some big time heat waves from there. So I'm gonna end up leading Armouche to pop the Trick Room. Then in our second slot, we are going to go, I think maybe Roll Boom, because then we can U-turn out and kind of get after it that way. I like it. So we'll go Rillaboom, and then we're going to go in with the Crawdon. And then last but not least, let's bring Ursaloon here. Ursaloon is just such a good Pokemon. So I like it. I really do like it. Especially if they're going to go into a bunch of Fire-type Pokemon. I got the Flash Fire. I'm ready to rock with that. So let's see. Let's check it out. But I think they're potentially leading Tornadus for speed. They could go in with Intimidate Landers, but I more so see like Torkoal, Typhlosion, or like Typhlosion, Tornadus. Something like that, right? Let's see. Tornado Shen Pao. Okay. So I was wrong. Jeans was wrong. And if going Armourers and Rillaboom, I can fake out the Shen Pao if it's not going to Terror Ghost. There's a chance it does Terror Ghost. Could get, a little, could get a little scary here. Could definitely get a little scary. But yeah, from here, I'm going for Trick Room. I would love to pop it. I could see Taunt coming out from... I could see Taunt coming out from Tornadus, but I'm just going to fake out the Shen Pao. Just hit it with a nice, lovely little fake out. The fake out comes across here, doing some nice damage, flinching it, taking off Focus Sash if it's there, and show me no taunt from Tornadus. Ooh, Liquid Storm. I'm chilling with that. I like that. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. So they have two very fast Pokemon, and now we got the Trick Room out and out, which is gorgeous, which is lovely. Chen Pao probably has Sucker Punch, so I think from here we might just want to U-turn into that, and maybe just Wide Guard the shot. But I could Heat Wave. I, I, I definitely could Heat Wave. You could be the play. I could go into a Steel Terra as well. This might be the turn that we want to go into Steel Terra. You got a Water Terra type. Mm. I want to save Terra. I think now would be a solid turn to go into a Terra. But you know what? I'm just going to... I'm going to Thrasilize Heat Wave. I'm not playing around. We'll Thrasilize Heat Wave and I'm just going to U-turn into the Tornadus. Because I believe Heat Wave should KO the Shen Pao if it stays its type. So instead of doubling down into it, we're going to Thrasilize our Arm Rouge. And we're not going to try to die to a Sucker Punch, right? Sucker Punch, Terra. It'd be really scary. 
And that's why NDD armors is so good. It's not Sucker Punch from coming from though. But on this team, we don't have NDD. We just have a Pokemon. And he's going to end up to last last. Was Shenpao going to get that Terror type? I had to guess, right? No, Tornadus. What type are you going into? You're going into Dark. And that's a little upsetting because I am you turn it into that slot. <laughs> that is kind of funny. I'll take it. But what's up with the Dark type? Though? Sucker Punch didn't come across here. We're able to soak because of the Terror type. Beautiful play from us. And we end up just KO with the Shenpao. So that was really good play for us. That was a beautiful play. A lovely play. What's up with the Dark Terror? Dark Terror didn't really make sense. U turn's now going to KO. Now I can bring out the Crawdon. Crawdon in the Trick Room. I am a little scared of Torkoal. Torkoal could come out here, but I do have Wide Guard to actually protect this from Heat Waves and Eruptions. So, down. I'm down. I'm down. Solid plays from us so far. Solid plays. But that, that Dark Terror type was kind of weird. It was definitely weird. I'm going to throw out the Crawdon. We love this Pokemon. It's got a nice big star on its head. And who are they going to get rocking with? Who's their back in Pokemon? Landorus, oh, it to me it's gonna do me a little dirty. And what else? And Ursh, oh, actually, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with both. I am fine with both. Intimidate's gonna come out here. It's gonna intimidate my Coralna. A little sad, but still, I can now choice into. Do I go Liquidation here, or do I go for like a Lash Out? My stats were lower during this turn. Would that be double damage? Or would I rather just go for Liquidation? Hmm. I mean, I have Robum in the back end. I think we just try to take out Landorus and then just, just save the Robum for the Urshfu, right? Makes the most sense. The liquidation gonna fly. It's Choice Fan. It's Adaptability. And I said it in the intro. This thing hits like a truck with 10 trucks on top of it. So we're picking up the easy KO, no problem. Side Shock's gonna fly out here. And will this KO? It does not. So we don't get the sweep. We don't get the sweep. Which kind of sucks. I want the sweep. But that's going to be game set match. Yo, Crawdon doing some big time damage. One shot in Pokemon, even when it's intimidated. And we'll take this match no problem. We'll take this match no problem. Seriously, very... Like, I don't know why they didn't break Torque. Like, if you seen my team, you would have just been screaming out, Hey, that's a Trick Room team. Because it obviously is a Trick Room team. So why wouldn't you bring one of the best Trick Room Pokemon with Torque? I don't know. It doesn't really make sense to me. But hey, I'll take that victory all day. We'll grass guide right here, and on top of that, we are choice in liquidation. We'll go into that, but our opponent just canceled the match. 1 0. Let's go hop to our second match. Let's go back to back. Second match coming at you guys? This one's weird. This one's weird. Definitely weird, but cool Pokemon? This is Master Tier, and I'm going up against Ambipom, Typhlosion, Umbreon, Gengar, and Galarian Zap. This is an odd team, and I'm kind of scared of it. Ambipom is an absolute menace, but who should I go into here? I'm going to try to pop Trick Room, so I think going into, like, Crest could be a good turn here. Just pop Trick Room and just go from there. So I'll go Cresselia for a nice, lovely turn one here. And then as our second Pokemon, do we lead Robin with it? Robin could just fake out. We can really get some work done from there. I like that a lot. We'll go Rillaboom. Rillaboom's just so perfect. And then we're going to go Crawl It On again. And then this time, bring in Choice Spec Vickable. I'm all about it. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. And go back to back. But yeah, this team's a little odd, right? First of all, Team Synergy's not there. At least what I know of. And then they're, they're missing a Pokemon? I, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, we can win this one. If our opponent wins it, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'm going to be very upset. They end up going Umbreon and Gengar. So I'm going to go Crest and Robin. They could have Imprison Trick Room. It's definitely an option. Umbreon definitely has to inner focus. So, Fake Out is just not going to be our friend. So, I'm going to Trick Room here. And I'm just going to U-turn Pivot out on the Umbreon. So, we'll save the Robin for later. Umbreon ends up protecting a smart little cookie. And please don't Imprison Trick Room, Gengar. I'd be so upset if you do. And you're going to go for Hypnosis, which I dodge. I do dodge. We love that. We love a big time dodge. U turn's gonna get blocked, but we get the trick room up. It's out and about. It's beautiful. It's lovely. We like it a lot. The trick room's down here. I still wanna try to U turn out with Roboom, get out Crawled on or Vickable with these turns. And from here, I'm just gonna take off Focus Sash of Gengar, because Gengar, chances are, it's holding a Focus Sash. And then we'll try to U turn out to Umbreon. I like it. I like it. I like it. So we need as many turns as we can with Crawled on or Vickable. There, there are heavy hitters. One's special attacking, one's physical attacking. So we want to get them out as soon as possible. 
Our opponent was probably thinking, like, what do I do? They could Hypnosis me. Eh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Hypnosis, great move. He's going to foul play me. Actually, do elbow. Ice chunk of damage. It's a bit too much for me to handle. Ice cream's going to fly. Can we get a freeze? We get a free. Ask and you shall receive. We'll take it all day. Big time freeze coming out onto the Gengar. I love how like they added the animation where he's actually frozen. Like he's just in air. Like, help me. I'm frozen. <laughs> but from here, we're just gonna bring out the Crawdon, man. Crawdon's ready to hit hard. Love it. I love it. And I wonder who he's gonna get cooking here. He's frozen solid. Beautiful. All right. So from here, he does have foul play with. Umbreon. Uh, I'm not too worried about Umbreon. I might just choice in Liquidation and try to get rid of Gengar here. Then kind of go from there, right? Because he could actually protect here. Actually, this is a perfect turn to swap into Vicka Bolt. I'm going to swap into Vicka Bolt. And I'm just going to choice into Liquidation here. And get rid of the Gengar. So again, Umbreon might protect there's a, there's a chance of Umbreon protecting. We already know it, sh it showed protect. And there is a chance, considering we're in Trick Room and he wants to waste out some turns. So Umbreon could protect. I'm kind of hoping Umbreon does. Because if Umbreon does protect, we get a free swap and then we just pick up the KO on the Gengar. Now we get out Vicka Bolt, too. It's going to be super effective for Umbreon, too. Umbreon. So no protect now from the Umbreon. Liquidation going to finish off Gengar, no problem. And I kind of like the position that one. Let's see what he's going to do with Umbreon. Foul play is going to come across into here, and Vickabolt's able to soak. So that was actually a great swap for us. So Vickabolt ready to hit like a truck. Crawdon ready to hit like another truck. We just got two trucks coming at you. <laughs> These Pokemon hit so hard in Trick Room. Especially with the choice band, choice spec. Give me all the boost. Give me all the boost. They're going to throw out their next Pokemon. This is going to be Ambipom. Ambipom can fake out. Kind of scared. But I feel as if we just go Bug Buzz and Liquidation. I think we're sitting pretty fine here, right? You can fake out one or the other. The other one's coming across and KO and the other one, right? Unless Ambipom Sash or Umbreon Thrash slices. A lot of different options here. Ambipom is here. This could be a last resort Ambipom, kind of how I showcased it on my channel. If you guys haven't checked out that video, definitely do so. It was awesome because Ambipom is sick. But yeah, I'm definitely getting faked out here, right? And it's going to be my Vickable. The Vickabolt's gonna flinch here and actually take a nice chunk of damage there. Liquidation is gonna come across. It's gonna KO Ambipom, no problem. And Umbreon, what are you doing here? Are you trying to KO my Vickabolt? You are trying to KO my Vickabolt. My Vickabolt eat, eats up those foul plays, no problem. So I just gotta land a Bug Buzz. If I can land a Bug Buzz on that Umbreon, we're thriving. We're thriving. So out comes their final Pokemon, and we might only have one more turn left in the tail. Or not that one, Trick Room. Type Fusion comes out. The Trick Room, again, one turn left. And bu -bu -bu -bum. I'm just gonna go Bug Buzz. Liquidation, right? Makes the most sense just to attack. I feel like they have to Terrasalize one of them. Yeah, and I think they're gonna Terrasalize Type Fusion and potentially protect them. That could be the play. So there's the Type Fusion, Terra. It's gonna go straight grass. Straight grass. And I should have doubled down in the Typhoon with Bug Buzz. It would have covered that. But let's see how this one plays out here. No Protect from Umbreon. We love that. Should we spec Buzz Buzz? Gonna pick up the KO. And that pretty much wraps it up. That pretty much wraps it up. Let's see how much damage this Liquidation is gonna do. I'm curious. Very curious. Oh my lord. Stop it, Kronaut. Tire Blast is gonna fly through here. We're gonna say bye bye to Kronaut. But it, it, it's pretty much wraps. It's pretty much wraps. We got Crest to deal with that with Ice Beam. We got Robin to fake out. At this point, I'm just going to bring out Crest and just throw an Ice Beam in that slot. And that's going to be game. No problem. 2-0. This team, I'm loving this team. I, I always love a good Trick Room team. i always been a big fan, especially when I'm like, when I used to actually want to like push the ladder in, in uh, Sword and Shield. i always been a fan of just heavy Trick Room teams. They, I always seem to play better with them. I don't know why. Heavy Trick Room teams just, just seem like my niche because they're just so simple to play you just set them up and then you got pokemon that can hit like trucks so the time Fusion goes for a heat wave it takes out my pickabolt i love pickabolt too really cool pokemon design wise looks amazing but crest got ice beam and this will be super effective this will finish off the time Fusion. time Fusion, get on out of here get on out of here 2-0 let's go hop into our third and final match look for that perfect record 
final match on its way, and I would love to go 3-0, three, no, three wins for today's video. We're going up against Scissor, Dragonite, and Shen Pao, and Urshifu. All four of them really thrive together. Going to be a tough one. They also have Articuno. They got Robum S for final two Pokemon. Trick Room's going to be good, but at the same time, it's like they have so much first turn priority that it's a problem. It's a problem. This one's going to be real tough for us. This is real tough for us. I'm going to go Crest for the lead. I like Cresselia for a nice, lovely lead. And on top of that, do I go maybe Armor Rouge? It's tough. It's so tough here. This one's going to be it's gonna be brutal. I think we got to go in with our fake out user Lobo again. Bring Crawdon in the back end. And then last but not least, Vicafo? Ah, dude, I don't know. Ursaluna's not bad. I'm going to go Ursaluna. This one's tough. This one's going to be super tough. So if we win this one, I will be surprised, but I feel as they're just going to overwhelm us with first turn priority, so Trick Room isn't even really going to play a factor, right? That's what I would do. If I seen a Trick Room team and I had a first turn priority team like Shen Pao, Scissor, Urshifu, and Dragonite, I just send out Dragonite, Shen Pao, turn one. Or Dragonite, or not Dragonite, or Shen Pao, Scissor, Shen Pao, Urshifu. Just pair them all up together and just start doing as much damage as I possibly can turn one. Right? Yeah. I have them, I'd probably eat Urshifu and Shen Pao, right? And just go after Cresselia, because chances are, or go after whatever Trick Room user there is on the field. But we'll see how this one plays out here. They're going to end up going. Da -da -da. Okay. Oh, that's shiny. Mwah, that's beautiful. The shiny looks tough. But they're going to go Galarian Articuno alongside Urshifu. And from here, I can just Grassy Glide Urshifu if I want to. And I think that might be my play. I think I'm just going to pop a Trick Room and just go for a Grassy Glide into Urshifu instead of going for Fake Out. Let's just straight up attack it. It ends up detecting. That's cool. We'll set up the Trick Room. Now we get the lovely little Trick Room out. Grassy Glide's going to get blocked. B -b 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 blocked. And in. I'm hurting. Ah, I'm hurt. That hurts. That really hurts. That really hurts right there. I think he's gonna swap first food, but he imprisons Trick Room. The ultimate Trick Room counter. The ultimate Trick Room. He has a withdrawn Urge Food. We kind of make that read because I did not go Grass Guy, so we're gonna knock off an Ice Beam into the Arcano slot. And they're gonna throw out Dragonite. Dragonite comes out here. Air Slash coming across. I was gonna say, well, we should be able to soak. And of course, I flinch. It was so bad. Ice beam's gonna come out. Can I get a freeze? Nah, we just get flinched all day. So, right now, I think now's a perfect time for a nice little ally switch. And I wanna try to land this knockoff. I really wanna try to land this knockoff on the Arctic, you know. That really sucks, man. We can't trick room. Yeah, I knew uh, this one. Like I said it from the beginning, I knew this one was gonna be tough. Alex switch gonna come out from us. We're still gonna fight here. And Air Slash gonna come across. He's gonna go into Crest. Crest is able to soak. And he's gonna outreach. He's gonna go into Crest as well. Crest is able to soak. We like that. Knockoff's gonna come across here. Bop. Big time damage. And I take off at Citrus Berry. Huge, huge. So I'll get some HP back. I wonder if Grass Guy can actually KO. I feel like it should be able to. So I'm gonna grass guy that and I'm gonna try to go for an ice beam. Grass guy comes out and we KO the article. So not bad. We get to get some value out. We get some lovely little value. Another outrage gonna fly. It's gonna KO Robo. But that leaves my crest getting off a four times super effective ice beam. I'll take it. I'll take that. Get off a little bit of value. And you're confused. Oh baby. Oh baby. Hopefully we get lucky. Hopefully the Dragonite loses some turns of confusion. And that's some, like, like I said, that's some damage right there. So from here, I'm just going to go crawl on. I'm going to try to pop Trick Room with Chris. Actually, maybe I should just Ice Beam instead of popping Trick Room. Actually, no, I'm going to pop, I'm going to try to pop Trick Room with Chris. Because chances are they're going to bring out a speedy Pokemon. And it's going to be Urge Food. And somebody just to, just to take out the Chris. So... Urshifu is here. I am going to Thrasilize just in case he wants to go into the fighting move into me. And I'm going to choice into a Lash Out. Mm. Actually, we'll choice into Liquidation. This should still do a nice chunk of damage on the Urshifu. And I'll go for the trick. 
We're going for Chirp. Have it imprison us off the field. It ends up withdrawing the Dragonite. And I'm really curious to see who Urshifu goes after. I'm really hoping Urshifu goes for close combat into my Coronaut. And I can soak because it will be neutral. But with Shen Pao on the field, I might not be able to soak. That would be that would be the play. That would be the best play. That, that would basically like have us a, a hot shot at winning this match. But I don't know. I, I think it's pretty simple for him to just target on the crest. Certain choice can come out here, and yeah, they target on the crest. But we Terrastalize. We got our adaptability. We got our terror type. We got our choice band. We got stab move. Coming after Urshu. I know it's not very effective, but this should still this should still do some meaty damage here. That's some meaty damage. I like it. I like half. We half HP here. Um, I am terrified. And I can't just protect, which is terrible. Ursaluna, definitely not the Pokemon to have. Maybe I shouldn't have Terrastalized the uh, you, because now we're just in a problem. I'm going to go Liquidation into you. Actually, I should try to KO the Urshifu. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to try to KO the Urshifu. Actually, no. We're just going to go Hyper Voice here. Yeah, Urshifu could just start just regular us. And that's the thing that sucks, is because I could have just protected the, uh... I could have just protected the Ursaluna, but... He hits through protects. He hits through protects. And yeah, it's pretty much right. Just crawl on. If crawl on can somehow clutch us up, that'd be a miracle. But Shen Pao's probably Sash, right? Which Liquidation's gonna bring it down to Sash. Yeah, we're still hitting hard, though. Crawl on's sick. Yeah, I knew that, I knew this battle would be tough, but from here, Nurse gonna hit me with a throat chop. We're gonna go for close combat. I'm not even gonna let my crawl on die. I'm just gonna run this match. We go two and one for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of trick room action in today's video. Rocking out with adaptability, crawl on, and choice specs. Absolutely love this team. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the heavy trick room teams. And I seem to always play good. Got you guys a 2-1 record, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do so by clicking that big red subscribe button down below. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.